It is unbelievable. Unbelievable. What a wasted opportunity today on a weekend that Inter lost, that Roma lost, and that Lazio tied. You come out with a performance like this, like this, with all the hype after the qualification for the Champions League quarterfinals. You come out and play a game like this. You were predictable. You had no creativity. You had no speed. You were slow paced. You did nothing, nothing today to deserve this victory. And if it wasn't for Magna, and we'll talk about Magna in a second, you probably would have lost this game. Because in the first half, there was two clear occasions and Magna made good saves on both of them, especially the second one. Practically a center back he came out, got the ball off uh, Dia. Incredible move. And let's talk about it. He's the best, best goalkeeper in Serie A. He is one of the best in the world. And he's the type of goalie that gives you at least 15 points a season. Why? Because of the saves he makes. He couldn't do anything on the, on the goal, unfortunately. But that's the type of goalie he is. And today, Milan, if it wasn't for Mike in that first half, they would have lost. Because with all the ball possession that they had. And Salernitana starts the game very well. Putting some pressure. Uh, putting some passes together. Getting up on the field. Not creating too much. But they had their chances. And in the first half, the two best chances were off uh, bad giveaways from Milan players. The first one on uh, Benasse. Uh, I don't know what he was trying to do. Loses the ball. Mike Magnan makes the first save. Ball goes to Castanos, who by a miracle misses the net. I think it touches slightly a defender, goes out. But it was lucky. It was lucky. And then on the second one, Tia, bad giveaway. Tia goes all alone against uh, Mike Magnan. And he comes out like a center back. Tackles the ball away. Incredible. It was incredible to watch. And so uh, if it wasn't for those two mistakes by Salernitana, and I'll be honest, if it was Tatarusano and that, we, they would yeah, have scored. But no, Magnan was there. He saved us. Uh, Milan creates some chances of their, or on their own. Giroud did a nice bicycle kick. Uh, he scores the goal at the end of the first half. A nice header. And Giroud today, again, a lot of work for Giroud. Not only offensively where he battles everybody, but even defensively on the corner kicks, like he's always there in the right spot, trying to do his thing. But uh, guys, no speed, no speed. That left hand side that was so critical for us. Leao right now is nowhere near in shape or in his head. I don't know what's happening, but not a good performance. He had a couple of occasions in the first half to run down the field. He jogged more than he ran. Uh, some bad passing. Uh, he tried shots from far that got uh, blocked by defenders. He had one occasion where he didn't go far from the uh, the far end post. But besides that, guys, nothing, nothing, nothing. Slow, uh, moving the ball from side to side. Nothing vertically. No through balls to try and cut the defense. No balls over the defense for someone running at it. Nothing. And so, um, not a good performance. That first half was horrible. And in the second half, it was more of the same. Why? Because Salernitana comes out. They're losing one nothing. It's not like they sit back. No. They try and put pressure on the ball. Yes, they're behind the line. They're waiting for Milan to make their mistakes. They counterattack. The first occasion they get on a counterattack, they score the goal. Um, Tio on that one kind of lets his guy go. It was a bit confusing, I think, for him because originally Tomori had it, but then he moves away from the guy to close the guy with the ball. And so Dia is left all alone. And Tia, instead of covering Dia, is like caught between two players. Dia all by himself scores. Mania couldn't do much on that. Uh, after that, Milan creating two very good occasions. Origi on one uh, kind of hurts his chest. Ochawa gets it off the line. Um, then another goal off the line. Um, the ball hits all kinds of people, is about to fall into the net. It actually hits uh, Pierre Colulu's arm, who's on the floor, and it comes back out instead of going in. So uh, unlucky there. Uh, ref gives a penalty for Milan. Uh, there was a foul on Ben Asad. At normal speed, it looked like a foul. When you rewatch it, guys, not sure. Not sure. I wouldn't say 100% that it's a foul. And so I think it was a good decision to take it back. Uh, there was a contact also on uh, Teo Hernandez. Um, I don't think it was a foul. I don't think it was a foul. Uh, overall, I don't think there was any uh, roughing mistakes today. Um, but 
it's all on Milan. Milan today lost two points against a team that had never uh, gained any points at San Siro against Milan. And today you gave them two points. Uh, you lose two points, you don't catch up to the second place, you're still fourth, and you're battling with teams like nobody wants these uh, Champions League spots. And this is why Napoli is running away with this Scudetto, is that nobody else behind them is consistent enough to give them a run for the money. Like all the big teams, Inter is struggling, Milan is struggling, uh, Roma, we never know what happens, Lazio, we never know what happens. And this weekend coming up, guys, Milan is playing Udinese, won't be easy without Giroud. Juventus plays Inter and Roma plays Lazio and Napoli plays Torino. So a lot of big games this weekend, but instead of being there and battling for that second spot and saying we want it, once again, you like completely, completely dropped the ball. Today they dropped the ball. Horrible performance. So disappointing. Guys, let me know what you think. Write in the comments, like and subscribe. And why didn't he put Tonali earlier? I don't get it. He played with Krunic and Benasser the entire game. I can't take it. I can't take it. And next game, I want somebody else to play on the right hand, on the left hand side. Put Teo instead of Leal and put somebody instead of Teo. Just once. I want to see what happens. That's what I want to see. Guys, let me know what you think. Write in the comments. Like and subscribe.